guys, this is Abby and welcome to Sit Life of Abby. So recently I noticed that there's quite a lot of people has been watching my vanilla mug cake tutorial and some of them asked me can I add sprinkles into it and so today's tutorial is inspired by that question and so today I'll be showing you how to make this fun fatty vanilla mug cake so I hope you guys enjoy it. Okay guys, first thing first, of course you will need a mug. Make sure that it is microwavable and look at this mug. This is super awesome. I love my new mug. It's so cute and adorable. Okay, now first we will need to have some butter. So let's put some butter into this mug and then just have to melt it and then add caster sugar into the mug. And then whisk it, add vanilla extract into it, and then whisk it again, one egg, and then whisk it again, six tablespoons of self-raising flour, and then whisk it again, and lastly, let's add some milk and then whisk it again okay now this part is entirely up to you but I would like to divide this mixture into two so get another mug and pour it in so, and then you can either have two mug cakes or you can share it with someone else um, what happened is that if you just have one mug like what I have it could get overflowed and then lastly let's add some sprinkles into it and then just whisk it again and now after this we just need to microwave it for about a minute or two minutes it depends on your microwave and then when it comes out it looks like this see how it's a bit overflown so imagine if I have the whole thing into my original mug then it will go cray cray Okay, now let's get on and make some icing. So of course you will need some butter again. And then add some icing sugar. And then try to whisk it. And then add some vanilla extract for flavoring. And then whisk it again. And lastly, let's add some milk. And whisk it again until you get this bit of consistency. And then put it into a piping bag. And of course the tips is entirely up to you how do you want to do it and then get your muck cake ready um, hopefully they're a bit of a room temperature otherwise it'll just gonna melt the um, icing but if you're just going to eat it straight away then I don't see that as an issue and then just start piping it And once you're done piping it, of course you will need to add more sprinkles on top of it. So go crazy with the sprinkles. And then it finished. Welcome back guys, I hope you guys liked today's tutorial. As you guys can see, the tutorial is pretty simple, straightforward, and oh my god, it looks super super good and yummy. And when you take a bite of it, it has all those fun fatty in it. So yeah, it's just a lot of colors and yeah, that's pretty cool. And oh my god, I just love this mug so much. I found it recently um, at a shop called Daiso. It's like a Japanese kind of um, cheap market, I guess if you want to call it. So yeah, and this is like the last one that I have and I'm like, oh, I have to have that. <laughs> so yeah, I have to actually fight it with my sister because my sister also wants it as well. And I was like, no, that's mine. So yeah, so if you guys like today's tutorial, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you guys already done that, thank you so much guys for doing it. You guys are the best as usual. And if there's any question, feedback, etc., don't forget to leave it on the comment section below and I will try to reply to it as soon as possible. And yeah, guys, I guess that's it. Until next time and bye. Mwah.